Oh, kuro mame. I, I, I love kuro mame. How is it, Flap? Good. So hi, I'm back here in Kyoto Nabe. I just came back from Kyoto where I met my two good friends, um, Flip and Susan Tamura. Uh, it was Flip's first trip. He had a really enjoyable time. And I, I took a short video clip of him so he can explain to you, you know, um, his experiences and what he thought as it was his first trip. You know, for a lot of Hawaii people, they have a strong affinity to Japan. Um, and yet there's several people who still haven't come. Um, they, but they keep going to Las Vegas every year. I have nothing against Las Vegas, but I think in addition to Las Vegas, that you know, instead of investing in the machines and on the crap table and in the California and Fremont Hotel, that maybe a trip to Japan would be a good travel investment to build memories, eat good food, meet nice people, see different things and sights and exotic things. I think you know, it's, it's a very rich, rich experience full of memories and you will get the Japan bug. Once you get bitten, you would want to come back again. So I hope that a lot of people who haven't been to Japan will consider um, coming to Japan. So, you know, listen to what uh, maybe Flip has to say, and then I think he'll give you a better idea as a first timer of, of what he saw and liked about Japan. In Japan, how does it feel to be in Japan for the first time? Uh, it's been a great trip, a great experience. Um, so much to see, so much to enjoy. Uh, the one, a couple of things I really appreciate about Japan is that it's so diverse. You know, you come to a neighborhood like this where you have the old style markets and uh, booths and vendors. Right around the corner, you got the high end and uh, the, the nice fancy wide streets and shopping areas. Um, but you know, all through it, no matter we come to this kind of place or the shopping areas outside, the people here are just so awesome. You know, they're very nice, they're courteous, they're respectful, uh, very helpful service is outstanding um, you know they go out of the way to help us like uh, we just went down to the department store to look for chestnut uh, what's that called chestnut uh, Kuri Kinton. Kinton and uh, you know one person was running out so he took us to a competitors um, stand she helped us uh, get some information she also went up and googled it on her own home um, laptop came back and showed us somewhere else that we could find stuff you know, that kind of um, service is, you know, uncommon in Hawaii. Uh, it's just amazing. But it helps to know the language a little bit so that you can ask those questions for those people. Otherwise, they kind of scratch their head and look at you like, you know, I don't know what to do. But if they could understand what you were asking, they'd be more than willing to help you. What about safety? Safety, you know, I, I've never felt unsafe even walking to a place like this. Um, we've always um, been very careful about when the sun goes down. Uh, but there's always people, you know, like us shopping and walking around no matter where we are. Uh, you don't see any crime or, you know, um, homeless, people, homeless people hanging around the streets. So you never feel threatened, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's a very safe place to walk around. Amazing. And what's the most difficult challenge you felt as a, in Japan for you? Uh, not being a Japanese speaker. Okay, language. Uh, language is always a problem. Um, Although the people are trying to really go above and beyond to help you, you know, to express my question to them is, is frustrating. You know, we use the apps as much as we can, or we look at the signs and understand a little bit of the hiragana, katakana stuff. But, you know, without knowing what you're looking at, you just can't, uh, you know, understand what, what's happening around you. If you were to do this again, I mean, if you were to do this, yeah, do this again, for anybody coming for the first time, what would you recommend anything as far as seeing every place first or <laughs> getting Wi-Fi, a pocket Wi-Fi, or what would you recommend? Definitely get a pocket Wi-Fi so you can access your um, phone and your um, information. Um, also a real pass. We, we've been going all over the place on real pass from um, uh, Hiroshima all the way to Tokyo and in between back and forth. Every day just about we've been on that Shinkansen once or twice. And uh, the real pass is just awesome. Gets you wherever you want to go. How many days were you here in Japan? We've been here a little over a week. This is our eighth day here. Um, so. And you hit Tokyo, Hiroshima, Tokyo, Osaka, Hiroshima, Osaka, Kobe, Kobe Kyoto. Kyoto. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. So you never had any real trouble then, as far as traveling around? No, 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 no trouble. Uh, going in the in the train stations were the, the most troublesome place because you're lugging around your luggage with you, you're trying to understand the language, fighting the crowds during the rush hour. But other than that, you know, it's it's, it's been okay. It's been nice. If you ever had a chance to come again, you would come again? Definitely. definitely and where, again. What would you do next time? I think since this time we came and we just went all over the place getting a feel for what it's like. You know, it's basically we want to go back to, um, we've seen enough of the city. We want to see more of the rural side, uh, get the history of the place that you're visiting, see traditional things. We haven't gone to an onsen, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, maybe uh, the, the northern part of Japan more. Uh, just to see the different kinds of traditional things that we haven't had a chance to do too much. And you see the Japanese people you talked about earlier, but as far as Japanese culture, um, and, you know, how they present things, the food, the different foods in the, in the different seasons, any, any um, impression? or? Wow, it's just so overwhelming. There's so much stuff here and everything is a little bit different in each uh, booth or each uh, store that you really just to go and sample the same thing in each place is just it's just overwhelming sometimes but you know uh, like, like we said the service is amazing the, the packaging the details to the kinds of things they do to, to sell you the products uh, make it look presentable uh, the, what they will do for you to um, to help you make your decision those, those are things that are just just incredible so hospitality you put them up at the top oh yes definitely Definitely at the as top. As far as kindness, generosity, safety. Hi, uh, I agree. So yes. really, there has outside of maybe not that many people speaking English, traveling during the rush hour, uh, too many people at certain times. Those are more of the, the negatives then. Yeah, yeah, but but there's stuff that that's that's all things you can work around, and you can find other ways to to bypass those things. But you know. But, but shouldn't let that discourage you from traveling around in Japan. It's, it's just nice to do. As far as cost-wise, was it very expensive or okay? or? Uh, for us, it hasn't been very expensive. We're, we, we're not doing the high-end shopping or volume shopping. So it's mostly just you know, taking tours, going to see attractions, uh, rail pass, eating most of our food on the trains, so yeah. train station food. So it hasn't been too expensive at all in that sense. Wow, thank you very much. Is there any less? Um, word or advice or just any message you have to the people watching well I just want to thank people of Japan for doing you know for what they've done and for for all that that they've done for us while we're here uh, made it so enjoyable for us so a big thanks and mahalo to them how is it black soybean tea black soybean tea very mild very sweet Black bean. Black, Black bean. Black bean. Black bean. Black bean. Black bean. So I hope to see more of you here in Japan. Um, for those of you who are first timers for sure, and those of you who have come already as repeaters, you know, you could visit somewhere every week for 25 years in Japan and not see it all. It's just an, an amazing country and it has all the benefits. So until next time, this is Mike from The Man From Japan signing off. Maido. Maido.